Welcome everybody. We're going to go ahead and look at Dr. Ollie Winker's workshop on inner beauty collagen. Such a great product that Young Living came out at convention. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get us started. A lot of time, money, and effort is spent these days to maintain a healthy and useful skin. But why does the skin degrade in the first place and what can we do against it? Hi, my name is Dr. Ollie, and today I am your guide walking you through the physiology of one of your largest and most important organs, your skin. And once you learn a little bit more in detail what happens in your skin, it will be my honor to introduce to you a brand new phenomenal product from Young Living called Inner Beauty Collagen. But let's get started by talking a little bit about the skin and collagen. What is it and what does the body use it for? For that, I would like to show you a little diagram of our skin. You see on the outside, we have the epidermis followed by the middle part of the skin we call the dermis and then the lower parts of the skin we call the hypodermis. And in this middle layer, the dermis, we see a network of fibers and structures we call hyaluronic acid, elastin and collagen. And we completely depend on this integrated network of structure to maintain a healthy and useful skin. So what is collagen? Well, collagen is one of the most abundant proteins in our body. And you can imagine it's like the glue that holds our body together. Collagen is found in the skin, in tendons, in bones, in cartilage, in every tissue. We also call it connective tissue. And type 1 collagen is the most abundant collagen protein in our body, making about 85 to 90 percent of our collagen. Now type 2 collagen is mostly found in cartilage in the joints. So how is collagen formed? We have a bunch of cells we call fibroblasts and these fibroblasts are in the dermis and they start producing collagen. And as we age these fibroblasts become less and less active and also produce less and less collagen. So it's not just the quantity that diminishes, but also the quality of the collagen and other structures in the skin. Age, therefore, will inevitably lead to wrinkles and irregular skin, but also to dryness and maybe redness. In addition, the bones inside get brittle and your cartilage is, is constantly used up and starts to disintegrate. And these are the pains we feel when we age. You have to understand, the skin is a very dynamic organ system. It's not that it just sits there the same way for the whole day. Every second something is happening in the skin. These fibroblasts are active, they're constantly producing, they're constantly replacing, and they're constantly repairing. And this is how we can maintain a good skin for decades over decades over decades. Now let me show you here a little video clip about how these fibroblasts are activated and what they do. So when we go and look into the skin, we see a fibroblast that gets activated with good nutrition. And then we see that these fibroblasts are creating this network of fibers we call basically the structure, the collagen structure of the skin. And while it's repairing this structure, you can see how it lifts back up the skin to its normal, youthful position. Did you know that there are 28 different types of collagen in our human body? Types 1 to 6 are the most common one, type 1 representing about 85 to 90 percent of our collagen. Now collagen is mainly composed out of three amino acids, proline, hydroxyproline and glycine. And these three amino acids form a chain we call the alpha chain. And then a lot of alpha chains go together and create bundles. And this is how you create a really strong network by adding all these bundles together. And I would like to show you in a little movie clip how that really looks like. 
So we go deep into the tissue and we'll look at this network of these little fibers and strands, this collagen. When we open up a strand, you see how many bundles are together. And within the bundle, you're going to see this single strand of proline, glycine and hydroxyproline making up these alpha strands which make up the triple helix structure, which is so characteristic for collagen. So what's the importance of collagen? As I told you already, collagen is like the glue that keep our body together. But it also has some other function. Did you know that collagen is also important for immune function? And it's also an important part of what we call the intracellular communication. So collagen is much more important than just for maybe something about beauty. Now let's have a look at it, how it looks like when we age. So here you see the structure with 100% collagen structure. And as we age, you're going to see that in the dermis, this collagen network is starting to reduce more and more until it almost reaches, you know, 10 or 0%. And now I'm going to repeat that video clip one more time and this time I would like you to concentrate on the upper surface of the skin. Do you see how the wrinkle form and the irregularities of the skin form, the less and less collagen you have in your skin? And this is exactly what we try to prevent. And so you know we have collagen damage just from normal aging, but there's also other influences such as UV light from the sun. And for example, smoking. Smoke looks extremely bad for your collagen. It destroys the collagen directly, plus it also constricts all the blood vessels from the nicotine, and so there's less nutrients that will come into the skin to help form new collagen and elastin and hyaluronic acid and other components. But also excessive drinking has been connected to very bad collagen. Consumption of ultra-processed food, and especially our overconsumption of sugar. When you eat too much sugar, the sugar will also be deposited in the skin and then they form complexes together with the proteins. They melt together with the proteins of the skin, for example, with the collagen. And they form something we very appropriately call age product, like from aging. But in this case, it's an abbreviation for the word advanced glycation product. So this melting together of proteins and sugar we call glycation and at the end you have an advanced glycation end product that is called age that will really be a, like a waste product sitting in your skin and not helping the useful look and the health of your skin. Now other deficiencies, nutritional deficiencies such as vitamin C deficiency, biotin, vitamin B7 deficiency, zinc deficiency, all of these things contribute to damaged collagen in your skin and overall inflammation, especially from overweight, obesity, but just stressful living, exposure to environmental toxin. This chronic exposure to chronic inflammation clearly is also destructive for our collagen. And so what you have to imagine is that collagen is like a building, like a building that has been built with like steel bars in between. And as the building ages and these steel bars start rusting, they start falling apart until you have to really break down this whole building. And you see like layer after layer will then collapse because the structure network is not functional anymore. But then comes an interesting question. Could we add collagen to our skin? So many good things can be applied topically to the skin to make the skin look healthier and more useful, but collagen is not one of them. And so really the good news is that collagen can in fact be taken internally, digested and then be taken to the skin, through the blood vessels and then can be reassembled to new collagen for healthy and more useful skin. Now that was not always clear because a lot of people said, well, if you eat collagen, it's just going to be digested. It's never going to reach the skin. And it's like the three amino acids like glycine, proline and hydroxyproline that need to be reassembled into these alpha chains. So a lot of research has looked into this question. And when I show you here research, this is not necessarily research uh, done by Young Living. In fact, it's not. This is just research done in the market out there to look at can we do collagen 
supplementation orally that will help the body. And here they took a meta-analysis that means they analyzed 19 different studies and then they made a combination analysis of these 19 studies. There were 1,125 participants, 95% of them were women, and they all used orally administered hydrolyzed collagen supplementation. Why hydrolyzed? What does that mean? It means that the collagen had to be broken down into smaller pieces so it was easier digestible and absorbable than the big collagen pieces. And so hydrolyzed collagen is the way to go. And they compared this to a placebo and they found clear benefit in the hydrolyzed collagen supplementation group. It was concluded that after 90 days, three months of supplementation with collagen, it was effective in reducing skin aging, that it reduces wrinkles and improves skin elasticity and hydration. So really, really good results. And here's another study that looked at over 800 patients that were also treated with oral collagen supplementation. Now again, it showed that this oral supplementation was good against skin aging, increased skin elasticity, hydration, and dermal collagen density. In other words, the amount and quality of the collagen in the skin increased. Now, another very important piece of this study was that collagen supplementation is generally safe and with no reported adverse effect, which is another very important thing if you start eating these kind of things. So what would be the sources of collagen and you can get it from a whole bunch of different animals you can get bovine mostly that's type 2 collagen you can get it from chicken skin from sheep from pork but also from fish and when it comes from fish we call these marine collagen or marine collagen peptides and the word peptide defines the addition of one or two or more amino acids that come together to a complex we call peptides and when we have many peptides that come together we have polypeptides or proteins and so if it comes from fish skin it's called a marine collagen peptide and it's mostly type 1 sometimes also type 3 and just for you to know there's no real vegan or vegetarian collagen supplementation the only way a vegan or vegetarian could get that from non-animal sources is through genetically modifying either yeast or bacteria put it into a biofermenter adding all the necessary nutrition and then let the bacteria and the yeast produce the collagen proteins or peptides and that would be a genetically modified source so let's have a look at this type 1 marine collagen. This is really hydrolyzed type 1 collagen from fish and it comes from sustainable fishing sources and fish are included like snapper, cod, carp, pollock, sea perch, milkfish and many other fish. Now marine fish and scales are extremely rich in this type 1 collagen and are a very very good source uh, to get our collagen peptides from. And here again a little study just looking at marine collagen in general and in this study they were quite smart. They did some oral supplementation with a combination of marine collagen peptides together with plant derived antioxidants. I already told you how important it is to have antioxidants in your skin. So how smart to combine marine collagen peptides with really good plant derived antioxidants. And they looked at screen properties such as moisture, elasticity, biological age, as well as using ultrasonic technology to looking at skin thickness. And they showed very clear improvements after just two months of treatments with marine collagen. So a clear win again for this type of collagen. So once Young Living decided to create a marine type 1 collagen peptide product for you, the thought has to be in the product development team, is there any way we can make this even better? Are there other products we could add to this super marine collagen to make it the almost holy grail of rejuvenation for the skin? And the answer of course is yes, the nature is full of good stuff that we can use to combine with this marine collagen. So let me walk you through some of the better known but also some of the lesser known secrets of promoting healthy skin. So one thing you may not have heard of are luxury phytoceramides. 
What are phytoceramides? Phyto is the old Greek word for plant. So phytoceramides are ceramides, fatty acids that come from the plant world. And it's one of the best secrets of Japanese beauty. Japanese women have for decades, almost for a century already, been really, really at the forefront of skin beauty and rejuvenating skin. And did you know that they have been using ceramides for their skin? And where do they get them from? from peaches because it turns out that peaches have twice the ceramide content in the skin and also close to the seed of the peach than other fruits and vegetables and it has been used for decades especially the peaches from the area from Nagano have been very very famous in Japan and have been used even to take out stem cells from these peaches and inject them directly into the skin so these ceramides are really really important because they are a group of fatty acids that are in the outer layer of the skin we call the epidermis in fact about 30 to 40 percent of that outer layer is made of these ceramides and we produce them ourselves but as we age, like with the collagen, we produce less and less of those. And that's one of the reasons why we lose a lot of moisture in our skin and why our skin gets really, you know, kind of dry and saggy. So adding ceramides, whether you add those topically or you add them internally by eating or drinking them, would be a really, really good idea. The next thing we clearly want to look at is vitamin C. Vitamin C from citrus fruit, you know, it's very important and antioxidants preventing damage maybe from the sun and some other environmental damages. But vitamin C, did you know, is absolutely crucial for the structure of collagen because vitamin C is activating the enzyme we call prolyl hydroxylase, which then promotes the formation of what we call hydroxyproline, which is one of those three amino acids we need for the alpha helix chain that forms then the fibrils and create these collagen bundles. So vitamin C is absolutely vital for good collagen. And in fact, if you have a vitamin C deficiency for about 20 to 30 weeks, that would be about five to six months you're going to have heavy damage in your skin structure, in your bone, in your hair, in your nail, and also in your blood vessels, in your gums, in your mouth, everywhere. And that maybe reminds you of a vitamin C deficiency disease we call scurvy. And of course, scurvy was famous for the sailors that hundreds of years ago would sail from Europe to the New Americas and back. And these travels would take months at a time. And it was very well known that these sailors were suffering from losing all their teeth, from having bad tissue, bad gum, uh, bad bones, more bone fractures, and extremely bad wound healing. And in fact, many of these sailors died from infections because the skin would never heal. And it took quite a long time for them to figure out that they had to take citrus fruits with them and add it to their regular diet in order to not get scurvy and have all this damage to the collagen and skin structure. So that just highlights the importance of vitamin C for your skin. Now another very important part is called hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is like a body natural lubricant that is used in various tissues of the body. And hyaluronic acid supports healthy skin hydration and thereby reduces the wrinkles, the appearance of fine lines, and just gives a more useful and glowful look for your skin. Hyaluronic acid also supports healthy collagen production and elastin production, two of these fibrils we need as a healthy structure in the skin. And hyaluronic acid is an important part of skin rejuvenation and luckily it can be taken either topically but also orally. And here's the study again, not from Young Living, just showing you that hyaluronic acid has multiple functions in the skin and that the administration of hyaluronic acid alone or in combination with other compounds showed efficacy in skin tightness, elasticity, as well in reducing wrinkles leading to skin rejuvenation. Now, one thing we need to talk about is vitamin B7, also called biotin. This is a vitamin used for many enzyme systems in your body. And biotin cannot be synthesized by mammalian cells and must be obtained from dietary sources. So when people experience a lack of biotin, they often experience thinning and losing of hair, as well as brittle and breaking nails. 
Biotin is therefore a perfect add-on vitamin to a product like Inner Beauty Collagen. And I don't want to miss out mentioning zinc, especially in these times of the pandemic. Zinc is so important for the immune system and unfortunately many people have a lack of zinc. But zinc is also an essential mineral that is needed for numerous healthy bodily functions, including boosting the immune system, but also supporting healthy skin. And many of you know zinc from zinc diaper creams and zinc-based sunscreens, which are really the healthy sunscreens. And zinc really in the skin acts as an enzyme cofactor that directly assists in collagen synthesis. In fact, sufficient zinc levels are absolutely vital for cell growth, collagen formation, and a healthy, more useful skin. Unfortunately, lack and deficiency of zinc is not that uncommon. And you can see here in the study that almost a fifth of the world population is currently at risk for inadequate zinc intake. And most of these people are the elderly that need it most because they have a weakened immune system and as you know now, a weakened skin. And so you could strengthen that with an adequate zinc intake. So adding zinc to a collagen product would just make a lot of sense. So the product development team added a fiber, tapioca fiber to the product. What in the world would have a fiber to do with collagen? Well, let me explain. That goes around two or three corners. And I need to start maybe with talking about probably the biggest mistake we have done in medicine in the last hundred years. For about a hundred years, we have been in the century of killing, killing microbes. We have created a whole variety of antibiotics and all the substances that just kill all the germs, antibacterial soaps and antibacterial this and that. And we have not recognized that we need these microbes to live together with us for us to survive. And all these microbes together are called the microbiome. And those who know me well, you have heard me talk in the last 10, 15 years a lot about the microbiome. All these microbes that live in you and on you. And so the most we have in the gut, in the colon, and we call it the microbiome of the colon. All these probiotics that are in there, these, these living bacteria, we have trillions of those, but we also have them on the skin. Of course, the skin is the interface between us and the environment. And of course, we need healthy bacteria on our skin to defend our skin. Now, what most people don't realize, there is a huge connection between the gut, the skin, and the brain. We call this the gut-skin-brain axis. And in this case, we mostly gonna look at the connection between the gut and the skin, but clearly the brain is also involved. And so we need to feed those microbes and we feed the probiotics, the healthy bacteria, with prebiotics and prebiotics of fibers. So adding fibers makes this a, what we call a functional product because it supports healthy bacteria in your body, which then will support a healthy immune system. 70% of your immune system is the gut and about 10, 15% of the immune system is in your skin. The connection between the gut and the skin. And then also I'm gonna show you a connection to the brain. But very, very important, adding fiber, a very, very smart thing a functional add-on to this product. And here I can show you a picture. This is from the proceeding of the National Academy of Sciences and they map 3D the different microbes of your skin and it gives you some very nice and colorful pictures. But last but not least, I wanna talk about vanilla. Vanilla is one of the three most expensive spices in the world together with saffron and with cardamom. I don't know if you knew that. Natural vanilla costs about $4,000 dollars per kilo compared to only $15 for synthetic vanilla. Now, vanilla has been added, natural vanilla, to luxury beauty products for decades. So why would they add this product? Well, because vanilla has these polyphenols, we also call catechins, that are extremely powerful antioxidants. And by adding those to skin products, of course, you're protecting the skin. So in the beauty, collagen is enhanced with vanilla plantifolia oil, our beloved vanilla oil. And it's not just wonderful for the flavor, but it's also great for the other skin benefits that vanilla shows. And just to show you very recent study, they now use vanillin from vanilla 
to help tissue engineering. So how fantastic is that? So let's summarize one more time a little bit the importance of the skin, right? It's the barrier between the environment and our body and that's therefore it's a very important barrier. But in a holistic point of view, when we look at holistic medicine, when we look at the whole system of our body, it's more than just the beauty and the usefulness. It's about the structure of the skin, but it's also about the emotions that go together with bad skin. And bad skin can create bad emotions, and so it's a vicious cycle. So we need to look at health and perception of our health when we talk about skin. And I wrote a best-selling book for Young Living members called The Doctor's Guide to Essential Rewards, 12 Months to Clean Living. And in this book, I dove a little bit more into the connection between a healthy skin and the perception of other people looking at your skin and making a quick judgment of whether they think you're young, you're healthy, or you're even more successful in life. There is a clear relationship between that. So the health of the skin has a much deeper meaning than just looking youthful. And it's clear that people will judge you about your state of wellness and your health by just looking at your skin, mostly at your face and the skin of your hands. And there's this really close connection between skin aging and the stage of emotions. Unstable emotions will often cause skin problems and skin problems themselves do in fact influence emotions and self-confidence. So I think we can all agree that a healthy skin is more than just useful look. It's really important for your body and for your state of mind. And so with that, it's very clear what we want to achieve. By taking a product like Inner Beauty Collagen, we are striving to take this collagen, rebuild it up, and rebuild this youthful, glowing skin on the outside. So, let's put it together. It's a product that combines hydrolyzed marine collagen, mainly type 1, as structure support for your skin and other tissues, luxurious phyto, peach, ceramides as moisture bearer, hyaluronic acid as hydration enhancer, vitamin C, vitamin B7 called biotin, and zinc as essential collagen supporters, potent antioxidants such as superoxide dismutase, which has been added to this product as skin protectors, and then vanilla as luxurious calming antioxidant, but also as a collagen structure supporter with a great pleasant favor. So what claims can you make with Inner Beauty Collagen? Well, I'm gonna read them here. Inner Beauty Collagen uses type 1 marine collagen from sustainable fish sources using special hydrolysis manufacturing process that uses no harsh chemicals or solvent. It reduces the appearance of fine lines and deep wrinkles with visibly smoother skin in as little as only 3 weeks. It supports the dermal layers after UV-induced skin damage. It uses phytoceramides, vitamin C, biotin, zinc, powerful antioxidants, and hyaluronic acid to support your skin health. It also uses prebiotic fibers to support healthy skin by balancing the microbiome. Again, here you have the gut-skin axis. And it has benefits of being enhanced with our luxurious, beloved vanilla plantifolio oil. And this sugar-free and flavorless marine collagen easily mixes into hot or cold liquid, making it an easy addition to any beverage. And I hope that you learned much more about the structure on your skin, the function of your skin, and how you can rejuvenate and repair and maintain a more youthful, healthy skin that is not just important for your looks, but for so many other bodily functions. And with that, I cannot wait to present to you another new product in another video. So see you soon. This is Dr. Ollie. gives you some very nice